Hi everybody, it's Stephanie. So last year I made a game room tour video and everyone seemed to really enjoy that one. So my husband went out of town and I thought it would be the perfect time to go back into his office and explore everything in there and show you guys all the new stuff that he has gotten. And I will warn you now, it is a lot of nerd stuff that we're about to see. So come on, let's go check it out. Okay, let's start out here in the entry of my husband's office. So right here, these two comic books are the first and second appearance of Iron Man. And this one is just a reprint um, of the first appearance. And this one is the real deal. So he also has um, the first and second appearance in a Funko Pop form too. So those are really cute. Oh yeah, and this one is when Iron Man was iron. And then this is when he turned to gold. So those are really neat to have. Okay, let's move on. This is where my husband keeps most of his comic books. As you can see, there are a whole bunch of them in here, and he has them organized and labeled. But these are the DC comics, and then over here, this is where he keeps the uh, Marvel comics. And they're all organized, so if I just pull some out, this is the Thanos and Thor section. So here's some. And these are not graded. He bought this entire shelf from Ikea, but it's when he put all these uh, comic books in here, it started to sag. So he has reinforced it with his own 3D printed little connector right there. <laughs> so it works out perfectly. And then he bought these from Ikea also. If you cannot tell, my husband is a huge Marvel fan. So when Funko put out this Marvel 80 Years collection, he got all of them and then also had this Marvel 80 Years sign custom made. This is my husband's tribute to the MCU Infinity Saga. So starting here in the middle, this is all of the original Avengers. And it is complete with an infinity gauntlet that my husband 3D printed and he even added crystals that represent the infinity stones. And I think it's cute because when they rotate around, their heads bubble and it's really cute. He also has this collection of statues. These are called Mini Co. and they are made by Iron Studios. And then all the comic books back behind tie into the series as well. Uh, this is the first appearance of Professor Hulk, the first appearance of Iron Spider-Man. This is when Captain America picked up Mjolnir. And this one is the infamous I Am Iron Man scene. Alright, he is also a fan of DC, so he has a Batman, Superman, and The Flash area right here. And then moving over here, these are just some signed Funko Pops. And then on the bottom row, he has um, these are graded comic books and they are kept in a dark area to keep them safe. And then I forgot, up here on the top we have some masks and helmets and those used to be out in the game room. So if you saw my game room tour, we have now moved those in here and then later I'm going to do another game room tour at the end of the year, so uh, look out for that. Okay, let's move on to this way. So he has more Funko Pops, I call these his Beanie Babies. Um, but on the top he has Spider-Man and then right here is just more Marvel Funko Pops. And then on the bottom he has one of his favorite video games, it is Arkham Asylum. And more Funko Pops. So up on the top are the Gears of War Funko Pops, uh, which he had the pleasure of working on that franchise, so he likes having those. And then in the middle is every Avengers Funko Pop that they make, including the Loki one, which is very rare, um, and we are, no one is allowed to touch that one ever. <laughs> that one is very special. And then on the bottom is a collection that him and my daughter uh, worked on together. It is the DC Bombshells. The Marvel theme goes well beyond uh, Funko Pops and comic books because we have our dog here who is named Thor. Can you look up? <laughs> Hi! This is Thor, our dog. And we are sitting in our Captain America chair. This is just a chair we got from Ikea. We have two of them and then I got this from Target. So when my husband is sitting at his desk, I 
usually am just sitting right here with the dog hanging out. So right next to me I have a giant statue of the Mad Titan. And then right above me I have two oversized Funkos of um, Thanos that were signed by the creator of Thanos. And up here is another custom shelf um, that was made to hold more Funko Pops. And this office would not be complete without a Coke refrigerator. Uh, my husband's favorite drink is Diet Coke, so we try to keep this fully stocked with Diet Cokes. <laughs> I think we just got this for my husband for like Father's Day one year, and he does use that uh, quite a bit. This is a display of my husband's favorite uh, comic books that he also matched with a Funko Pop. So let's see, up here on the top row, these are all Marvel, and I really like this Taskmaster comic book and this Funko Pop, and if you saw the Black Widow movie, you will have seen Taskmaster. Um, also, the first appearance of Deadpool is right here. I am still waiting on that call from Ryan Reynolds. So this second row right here, these are all from 1968, and that was a year that Marvel was sold. So each major character that year got their own comic book. And you can see here that they all say big premiere issue, so that's why they say that. And also on this row, uh, my husband commissioned an artist to paint, uh, the, uh, paint on the outside of the box. And so I just think those are so beautiful, They're very unique and very beautifully painted. On the third row, we have the first appearance of Thanos, and this was also signed by the creator of Thanos. And this is the second appearance of Thor and Loki. And then the two stars of WandaVision, we have the first appearance of Scarlet Witch and uh, Vision. And the, this one is the first appearance of Black Panther and Falcon. Okay, this third row is all Spider-Man. It's all Spidey all the time. Okay, this one right here is the first appearance of the Punisher. And this one is pretty special. It's a reprint, but it is signed by Stan Lee. So that one is nice to have. And then moving down on this row, uh, the first appearance of Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen. The bottom row is the DC row, and I want to even it out a little bit and show you some of the girls. So right here we have the first appearance of Harley Quinn. And then moving down here, um, we have the first appearance of Catwoman. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the comic book that she showed up in because it is named Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane. I don't really like that name. If I were going to rename it, I would call it Courageous Journalist Lois Lane. But I do like that Catwoman has turned Superman into a cat. So oh, I did. I do like that part. And to finish off his favorite comic books, this one right here is the very first Avengers comic book. And it's funny because they list out four of the Avengers, but there are actually five because they left off Wasp. She is right there. <laughs> so they needed to add one more name on there. And this one right here is the first appearance of Silver Surfer and Galactus. I don't really know anything about those. So I'm gonna skip on down to this one. Um, this one has a little bit of controversy surrounding it. This is the first full appearance of Wolverine, but actually, so this one is number 181, but actually in number 180, uh, Wolverine had a full page at the very end. So some people think that 180 is the first appearance, and some people think that this one is the first appearance. So what do you think? Which one is it? I think it's number 180. And wrapping up, this is the giant size X-Men number one. Okay, I have one last thing to show you in this office. So if you remember from my other tour, we used to have a TV on that wall, but my husband could not see the TV from his desk. So we wanted a way that he could watch videos from his desk while also potentially protecting the comic books from any stray light. So we have added this. And he has a projector on his desk that is connected to his PC so he can watch videos. But do not worry, this screen is blacked out so that no light is actually hitting the comic book, so they're gonna be safe. 
All right, that is it. The entire office has been shown to you guys and thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I am planning on doing some more um, just videos of my own life and adding it here on the channel too in addition to my baking videos and I do have two baking videos coming up very very soon I just got a little bit behind on those so they are coming up and thank you all for watching and for being here and I will see you again very soon bye everybody